Oh, hey, sorry, I was looking for air leaks. Welcome to Simply Sustainable, Atlas Copco's guide to greener manufacturing. I'm your host, Brian Wojciechowski, and today we'll be speaking with Steve Bauer, product specialist for material removal and airline infrastructure. I think I hear an air tool running, so let's go find him. Hmm, still not hitting the correct torque. Hey Steve, what's going on? Oh, hey Brian. I'm just trying to get the right torque settings for this customer's Atlas Copco PTI tool. So what seems to be the problem? Well, I've checked the torque settings, the trim valve, the static air pressure, and everything seems to be okay, but I'm still not hitting the correct torque. At this point, it could only really be a loss of air pressure or incorrect CFM, which is the volume of air flowing through the line. Oh, okay. Do you have any idea what could be causing that? Yeah, I think so. Let's go take a look at the airline infrastructure. Oh, hey, I think I found the culprit. The hose is making the tool fail? Is it the wrong material, the wrong size? Well, the material doesn't really matter to the air as long as the hose is made of good quality. The size of the hose can impact the tool's performance, but this hose is properly sized for the PTI tool. Let's take a closer look and see what's going on here. Ow. Oh, I can hear an air leak. Yeah, and as small as it is, air leaks can have big consequences, and not just what you can see with your eyes, like the tool not hitting correct torque. PSI can be adjusted to compensate for air leaks, but with that comes higher energy demand from the air compressor. Take our hole for example. On average, a five millimeter hole in your hose can have an air leakage rate of about 57 cubic feet per minute from the air distribution system. To compensate for this loss of airflow capacity, 8.3 kilowatts of additional compressor power is required yearly. To put that into perspective, that's roughly $3,500 a year per hole. If a large plant running 500 pneumatic tools has leakage on even a quarter of their airlines, that could be up to 1,000 kilowatts of energy wasted and over $350,000 in energy costs. That's a ton of money and energy being wasted. Is there anything that we can do to prevent this? Absolutely. All of this can be avoided by making sure your airlines are not being bent, pinched, or otherwise mistreated, and introducing regular maintenance procedures like leakage checks into your weekly schedule. If a leak is suspected, a soap and water solution can be used to detect the exact point of leakage. You can then take necessary measures to repair the leak and in turn reduce your energy consumption and carbon footprint. Thanks for that information, Steve. Yeah, no problem, Brian. Thanks for stopping by. Wow, who would have thought that a leak that small could have such a big impact on your sustainability efforts? We hope you learned a lot today and join us for the next episode of Simply Sustainable. Mm -hmm.